What if humans were no longer Earth's dominant species? Who, or what, might take our place? Earth's history shows that no species lasts forever. While humans have shaped ecosystems and altered the planet in profound ways, our eventual disappearance would leave room for other life forms to rise and adapt. The question is, which species could step into the role of Earth's new rulers? Some speculate that primates, given their intelligence and social structures, might seem like natural successors. Now, apparently, we are the new rulers. The talent we share might last forever while humans discover new passes. However, their reliance on specific behaviors like hunting and grooming could make them vulnerable in a dramatically changed environment. Instead, an unlikely contender emerges, the octopus. Known for their intelligence, problem-solving abilities, and adaptability, octopuses might evolve in unexpected ways, particularly in an ocean-dominated world. And they already demonstrate creativity, tool use, and even curiosity, qualities that hint at the potential for civilization-building capabilities. The challenges are real, of course. Octopuses lack skeletons and are bound to the water. But over millions of years, evolution could push them to develop ways to breathe air and navigate land, leading to entirely new adaptations. Imagine a world where octopuses build underwater habitats, expand their use of tools, and interact with their environment in ways we can't yet conceive. While this is speculative, it highlights the unpredictable paths evolution can take. Just as ancient primates became modern humans, the next dominant species could emerge in ways that seem improbable today. This thought experiment reminds us of life's resilience and adaptability, offering a humbling perspective on humanity's place in the grand story of Earth. Which animal could replace humans as Earth's dominant species is a question that probes the impermanence of dominance and the resilience of life. Human dominance has been shaped by our capacity to adapt, innovate, and manipulate our environment. However, history shows that no species remains dominant indefinitely. Environmental shifts, natural disasters, and ecological pressures have caused the decline or extinction of dominant species time and again. You know, the species, uh, for instance, the dominance of dinosaurs for over 160 million years ended abruptly due to an asteroid impact, paving the way for mammals to flourish. This transient nature of dominance is akin to a sandcastle on the beach. Magnificent, yet inevitably reshaped by the tide of change. A future dominant species would likely possess traits such as high adaptability, problem-solving abilities, and the capacity to exploit new ecological niches. Intelligence, exemplified by complex problem-solving and tool use, provides significant evolutionary advantages. Adaptability to diverse and changing environments is equally critical. Traits such as social cooperation, resourcefulness, and ecological flexibility are essential. So, it doesn't surprise me that we might end up proving more for our happiness than progress or happiness than progress, or happiness than progress. Essentially, if you trait such as social cooperation, resourcefulness, and ecological flexibility are essential to survival and progress, or happiness than progress, or you, while primates exhibit many of these traits, their reliance on specific habitats and diets may limit their evolutionary potential compared to other candidates like birds, cephalopods, or insects, Crows and ravens, for instance, thrive in urban environments alongside humans, showcasing remarkable adaptability. Octopuses are a surprising contender as a potential successor. These intelligent invertebrates demonstrate advanced problem-solving skills, tool use, and intricate communication. Their decentralized nervous systems allow them to perform multiple tasks simultaneously, resembling a supercomputer with multiple processors. While their aquatic nature currently limits their mobility on land, evolutionary pressures could drive adaptations such as amphibious traits, supportive structures, or advanced respiratory systems, enabling them to expand their influence beyond the ocean. The development of underwater civilizations utilizing the vast resources of the sea 
is another possibility. This transition from ocean dominance to terrestrial influence would require significant evolutionary shifts, akin to an astronaut adapting to life on a new planet. Aquatic dominance poses unique challenges as marine species must adapt to vastly different environmental constraints than terrestrial organisms. Octopuses, for instance, lack a skeletal structure, limiting their mobility on land. Evolutionary changes such as the development of supportive structures, amphibious traits, or new respiratory systems would be necessary for octopuses to expand their influence beyond the ocean. Alternatively, they might develop underwater civilizations utilizing the abundant resources of the sea to construct advanced habitats. Some aquatic species, like mudskippers, have already developed amphibious traits, showing that transitions from water to land are possible under the right evolutionary pressures. The transition from ocean dominance to land dominance is like an astronaut adapting to life on a new planet, demanding entirely new tools and behaviors. Um, evolution plays a pivotal role in shaping the future of dominance. Through natural selection, mutation, and adaptation, species evolve traits that allow them to survive extinction events and exploit new niches. Evolutionary bottlenecks often accelerate this process by favoring advantageous mutations. Over millions of years, these pressures can lead to the emergence of entirely new life forms with advanced capabilities. The Cambrian explosion, for example, demonstrated how rapidly life can diversify under the right conditions. Evolution shaping new dominant species is like a marathon race where unexpected contenders emerge victorious by adapting to unforeseen challenges. Intelligence, while advantageous, is not exclusive to primates. Cephalopods, certain birds, and marine mammals exhibit cognitive abilities comparable to primates, including tool use, communication, and social learning. Intelligence can manifest in diverse ways, from problem-solving and memory to the ability to modify the environment. A dominant species might develop forms of intelligence distinct from human cognition, focusing on cooperation, decentralized systems, or environmental integration. Crows have been observed creating tools from sticks and leaves to extract insects, and dolphins exhibit complex social behaviors including cooperative hunting. Intelligence in non-primate species is like discovering a new operating system. It works differently, but achieves similar or superior results in its environment. Extinction events often act as resets, clearing the ecological slate and allowing new species to rise. Traits such as generalist diets, wide geographical ranges, and adaptability become critical for survival. The asteroid impact that ended the Cretaceous period, for instance, enabled mammals to radiate into diverse forms, eventually including humans. Extinction events are like clearing the chessboard. New players emerge to reshape the game entirely. The, in a post-human world, ecosystems would recover from anthropogenic pressures, biodiversity would increase, and new species would emerge to fill ecological niches. Species with the ability to manipulate their environment, communicate, and adapt to change would have a significant advantage. The ocean, less affected by human activities, might become the cradle for new dominant life forms, such as octopuses or other intelligent marine species. Um, forests could expand into abandoned urban areas, creating opportunities for species like raccoons or rodents known for their adaptability to thrive and evolve further. Life after humans is like an overgrown garden, chaotic at first, but eventually flourishing with diverse and unexpected forms. Um, the possibility of a post-human Earth invites reflection on the impermanence of dominance and the resilience of life. It underscores the need for a humbler and more sustainable approach to how we interact with the planet. Conservation efforts today, such as protecting endangered species and restoring ecosystems, could shape the trajectory of life after humans, influencing the rise of the next dominant species. Thinking about a post-human Earth is like passing a torch in a relay race. The journey continues, but the runner changes. The question of which species might replace humans as Earth's dominant life form highlights the unpredictability of evolution and the resilience of life. Candidates like octopuses, birds, and other intelligent species illustrate the diverse pathways to dominance. By exploring these possibilities, we gain a deeper appreciation for the dynamic interplay of life, evolution, and environmental change. This perspective inspires us to steward our planet responsibly, 
ensuring a rich legacy for the species that follow.